Let's see how to find the integer solutions. Without loss of generality, let's assume a less than or equal to b. Now, by prime factorization, we know 3025 is actually the square of 55. So we get a squared plus b squared equals 55 squared. But we can write it as 11 times 5 squared or 11 squared times 5 squared. But we know the well-known uh, Pythagorean triple. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. Now both sides times 11 squared. So we get 11 squared times 3 squared plus 11 squared times 4 squared equals 11 squared times 5 squared. The first term is actually 11 times 3 squared. So it is 33 squared. Similarly, second term, 44 squared equals 55 squared. So we get a solution to the given equation. A equals 33, B equals 44. So the sum A and B equals 33 plus 44 equals 77. Is it the only solution? To answer this question, let's figure out the range for B. We know B squared less than or equal to A squared plus B squared, which is 3025. Taking square root for both sides, we know b less than or equal to 55. On the other hand, 2b squared equals b squared plus b squared, that greater than or equal to a squared plus b squared, which is 3025. Both sides divided by 2, so we get b squared greater than or equal to 3025 divided by 2. Taking square root for both sides, so we get b greater than or equal to 38.89. So the range for b would be b greater than or equal to 39 but less than 55. But when B equals 55, A equals zero. Not good, because A must be positive integer. So B less than or equal to 54. Now, A squared plus B squared equals 3025. We can solve, B, uh, solve A. So A equals square root of 3025 minus B squared. Now we can plug in the value of B one by one, 39, 40, 41, up to 54. It turns out only when B equals 44, we get the integer value for A. So A equals 33. No other integer solution. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.